Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing 22 Christmas Dollar Tree DIYs. And you will notice that each of the crafts in today's video is going to have a number in the bottom left hand corner. That way you can easily jot down whichever craft you like, and then you can always reference the video again. So I would definitely say bookmark this video. So it's always really easy to find. And if you are new here, I would love to have you join us by subscribing down below. Let's jump right into the first DIY. I love how simple this one is. So I'm going to get started with two of these glass vases from Dollar Tree and some of their glitter stickers. They have a lot of different ones to choose from, but I wanted to go with the snowflakes. I love that winter wonderland feel. All you have to do now is just start to place your snowflakes around your vase. I started with the larger ones and then I start to fill in some of the gaps with the smaller snowflakes. Like I said, so easy. You can have this craft done in about two or three minutes. Once they are finished, just go ahead and pop in some flameless candles. But if you prefer, you can definitely just use this as an actual vase since the stickers are just on the outside. This would be perfect for real flowers or faux, but I just really like the way the candles look, especially at nighttime. All right, let's move on to DIY number two. And this is again, one of my favorites. I love an easy no sew pillow. And these fabric placemats from Dollar Tree are perfect for that. So just grab two of these. I really like the joy pattern, but they do have a lot to choose from. All you have to do is just line them up. And if yours are slightly different sizes, sometimes they're not perfect. Don't worry, that's what happened to me here. I'm gonna show you how I fixed that. I am going to be using my Gorilla Hot glue sticks though. I will leave these linked down below as well as any of the other crafting items that I'm using in today's video. I find that these are so strong. They work a lot better in my opinion than the other ones I used to use. I only use Gorilla Glue ones now and I just order them from Amazon and I find that they are a similar price to the ones I used to get at the craft store. So now since mine was a bit longer on the bottom, all I had to do was just fold over that edge, hot glue it down, and then I was able to continue hot gluing all of my sides together. I did leave a small opening on the bottom and I'm just going to start to fill that with some polyfill. Once it's full, you can go ahead and just hot glue it closed. Again, this is a really fast craft. It only takes a few minutes, but it really does look beautiful, especially if you use one of these fabric placemats from Dollar Tree. They're really soft and they do just feel like a regular pillow. You can even add some tassels to the corners. I think that would be beautiful. I want to show you another option though. So Dollar Tree does also have these placemats here. They're a little bit different than the fabric ones. These ones feel a bit smoother, but they still work for this DIY. And I love Holly print for Christmas. It is just so classic, but all you have to do is just repeat those same steps. Go ahead, add some hot glue to your first placemat, glue your second one on top and leave a small opening so you can fill it up with some polyfill. And of course you can also sew these, but I definitely love a no sew pillow. And this fabric lends itself really well to the hot glue. It holds up really great. It does not come apart whatsoever. I've made these for years and they always hold up perfectly. Moving on to DIY number three, we're going to give these reindeer a really easy makeover. So this is how they come from Dollar Tree. I do believe they have a few different colors and they honestly look great like this, but I have a really simple way just to elevate these a little bit. By painting the reindeer one solid color, it just helps it to look a bit more substantial and we are going to embellish it a little bit. Now I love the base. I think it's really great just like this. It has a good finish to it. So all I'm doing is just slowly working the reindeer back and forth so I can pull out the pegs in the background. That way I can just move the base to the side so it doesn't get any paint on it. If you do find that it is resisting too much, you can always just cover it up with some paper or painter's tape and just paint around it. But I find that it is much easier just to remove the reindeer from the base, paint them, and then go ahead and add them back in when we are done. And I am using my favorite gold spray paint. This one has the most beautiful finish to it. I will leave this one linked down below. That they are dry we can go ahead and add some accessories now dollar tree does have a lot to choose from i'm just going to go ahead and use these bells i think it looks really pretty i'm gonna try my best to make a small collar around the deer's neck but you can also add a little wreath. I think that would be really cute as well. And to attach them, I'm just going to be using my hot glue and I will be using my Gorilla hot glue sticks for this. 
I did try to glue the belt in kind of a curved shape just to give it the appearance that it is draping around the neck. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just pop my reindeer right back into the base. I found that it stayed perfectly fine just like this, but if it is a little bit too wiggly, go ahead and just put a little bit of glue into the base first and then add your reindeer on top. That way it just holds it nice and secure. But here is how these turned out. Having that one solid color really helps to elevate these and I love the combination of adding the gold with the silver bells. I think that they play really well together. Moving on to DIY number four. So in the crafter square at Dollar Tree, you can usually find some crafting item that resembles the shape of a house. So I picked up these two here as well as the shadow box one. Any of these will work. We're actually just going to be using the back part for our DIY. Go ahead and remove any stickers that might be on the back and then grab some paint. So we are going to be turning these into little gingerbread houses. And I found that mixing the white chalk paint with some brown paint gave it that gingerbread color. And I love white chalk paint, especially for crafts like this because it covers up so well. You really only need one coat where if you were to just use acrylic as your base, you'd probably need two or three coats, but white chalk paint does fill it up really nicely. So I let these dry completely and next we need to decorate them. I found that using a white chalk paint is the best option to get all of those details really precise. It's almost like you're just drawing onto it and it makes the whole process really easy. Another option would be to use puffy paint. That would be really fun as well and give it a really good texture. If feeling a little bit stuck on how to design your house, go ahead and just look at some gingerbread houses online, print out a picture or just pull it up on your phone and it makes the whole process a lot easier. This is also a great DIY to do with kids. You can go ahead and just prep the house beforehand and then just let them have the white paint pen and get super creative. Here is how mine turned out. DIY number five is absolutely a must try in my opinion. It is so simple, but the end result is stunning. So all you need to grab from Dollar Tree are some paper bags. Now I'm gonna be using seven here, and all you wanna do is make sure that the flap is facing up and that it is forward. And we are going to be hot gluing seven bags together. You want to basically form the shape of a T with your hot glue. So put it right across the top and then one line down. And once you do that, you can go ahead and start to stack your bags together. Now at the end, we will be cutting all seven bags at one time. If you find that that is too difficult, you can do this in a stack of three and then a stack of four. And then at the end, just hot glue them together. I found that it was pretty simple to cut through all seven. The bags are pretty thin and as long as you use a sturdy scissor, it usually does cut right through them. Next step, you can get as creative as you like, but I do like to start off with a triangle cut on the bottom. This is going to form the edge of our snowflake. Now go ahead and just start to cut a design. So for this one here, I kept it really simple. I just cut some triangles into the sides and I do like to just mirror the design on both sides. But again, this is your time to get creative, design it however you like. It's really fun to see the end result when you open it up. And sometimes the design looks a little bit better than others, but that is half the fun. You open it up you can go ahead and just add some hot glue to the ends of these two bags here and glue them together if you want your snowflake to stay in that permanent shape another option if you want to save these and collapse them at the end of the season is just to open up your snowflake and just use a hole punch or just a small scissor to create a hole on the top just grab some twine or string insert it into the hole and tie a knot that way your snowflake is secure in its shape but at the end of the season when you want to go ahead and take these down all you have to do is just cut the twine off and your snowflake will fold flat again it's a really simple way to store these and to display them and if you find that there is a small gap right there go ahead just grab some tape and put it right in there these are so incredibly fun to make once you make one trust me you are going to make more it is so much fun to try out different shapes and sizes for this one here i went with a really deep v cut and then just a small semicircle and then i got this shape but it is amazing to see how these just paper bags can really turn into something so magical with just a little bit of effort. They also do sell white paper bags at Walmart. I don't have those. I am going to be on the lookout for them this year, 
but if you want to go ahead and just make some white snowflakes definitely grab the white paper bags i haven't seen them at dollar tree but i will keep my eye out here are mine hanging up and i am just going to keep mine plain but these are great if you want to decorate them you can definitely add some embellishments to them if you get the white paper bags you can even color them with markers before you go ahead and cut them there are so many different possibilities all right moving on to diy number six we are going to make a modern art print so i'm starting off with one of these frames from dollar tree and i'm actually going to go ahead and just remove everything from the frame i will be using the back piece as a template though this is actually just a leftover piece of the black foam board from dollar tree and this is going to be the background for our art print so after i took off the back from the frame i just went ahead traced it onto my foam board with pencil and then cut it out now i'm just going to make sure that it's going to fit into my frame when we are all done step i'm just going to grab some of these wood snowflake shapes from dollar tree they actually have a few different shapes i thought that these were really pretty and all i'm going to do is just take out three of them and paint them white you can also use spray paint for this i'm just using some white acrylic paint doesn't have to be perfect and just make sure you paint one side of them next i'm going to take some of the candy cane ribbon from dollar tree this one is usually the staple they carry it every year and i'm just going to cut a piece that's long enough to go all the way down and then wrap around the sides so i can hot glue it in the back Next, you just want to go ahead and put it back into your frame. That way, when we add the snowflakes to the front, everything is centered properly. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with my middle snowflake. That way I get the placement right. And I'm just attaching it with some hot glue. Once I have my first one in place, I can go ahead and add my second and third snowflake. These wood snowflakes are actually meant to be ornaments, so they do have a small hole on top. Now you can just leave that if you don't mind it, but I wanted to go ahead and just cover it up. So I created three small candy cane bows. I'm going to go ahead and just hot glue one over each hole on top. This is how mine turned out, but I love how versatile this DIY is. Go ahead and switch out the snowflakes for one of the other wood shapes at Dollar Tree and you can make a completely different looking DIY. Number seven is definitely an all time favorite DIY for me. You guys might know already, but I am obsessed with the Nutcracker Ballet and with Nutcrackers in general around this time of year. So I definitely had to grab these from Dollar Tree. The only thing is they don't blend too well with my existing decor. So we are going to give these Nutcrackers a really high-end makeover. I'm going to be painting these with my favorite gold spray paint. Again, this one will be linked down below. This is going to give them the most beautiful finish and definitely give them that high-end look. I wanted to keep the beard and the hair, so I just used some painter's tape to cover it up, but you can also remove the beard and hair if you prefer. So now I let these dry completely. I did end up doing two coats for these, and now I'm going to go ahead and just remove that tape to reveal the hair. If there's a little bit of paint in the hair, it's okay. You can go ahead and just remove it with some scissors, but the tape does work pretty well. You can see I have a little bit of paint there. You can either just pull it out with your nails or just trim it. But here's how these turned out. So simple, but to me, these look way more high-end than a Dollar Tree Nutcracker. For DIY number eight, we are going to be creating a candy cane cake plate. So I'm going to be using this plastic tray from Dollar Tree. You can find this in their party area, as well as one of Dollar Tree's glass candle holders. Now, I love using these two pieces together because the center circle fits perfectly into the candle holder. So to get started, I want to grab some matte white spray paint. I'm going to go ahead and just paint my cake plate. I'm going to be using some blue painter's tape to start to create some lines for my candy cane. Once I had all of my tape in place, I went ahead and grabbed my red spray paint and I will be spray painting the plate up top as well as my candle holder with this gloss apple red spray paint. Here is how it was looking after two coats and now I'm going to go ahead and peel off the tape and this is my favorite part. It's so much fun to reveal those crisp lines. And once you have all of the tape removed, you can go ahead and grab a permanent glue. It depends what you're using this for. If you're just going to be displaying objects on here, you can probably just use some hot glue, but I like to be extra safe. So I like to use a more secure glue. We'll be using some E6000 as well as hot glue to secure the candle holder to the bottom of the plate. Here's how it turned out. This is perfect for displaying cupcakes or just displaying some decor items for Christmas. DIY number nine, we are going to be creating a large centerpiece. So this DIY is perfect if you have a big area that you are looking to fill up with some decorations. 
So I'm going to be using three of these wood trees from Dollar Tree, as well as two of these wood pieces from the Crafter Square, and we're going to be gluing these together to create one long piece. I did want to show you, these also had three holes in the top, so I did just go ahead, fill them in with this lightweight spackling. This is also from Dollar Tree. You want to let that dry for a few hours, then you can go ahead and just take a sanding block just like this and start to move it around in circular motions just to get it nice and flat. And that is a really easy way to cover up those holes in any of the wood pieces that they sell in the DIY area at Dollar Tree. Next, I'm going to be gluing these two wood pieces together with my hot glue. Now we can start painting everything. And my vision for this was to have some snow covered trees in the woods. So I want to go ahead and paint this base portion white just to kind of mimic the look of snow. And then I'm going to go ahead and paint my trees with this metallic silver color. This one has a really pretty finish. Thought it would be really pretty to add some faux snow to the bottom of the base as well as the trees. And a good way to do this is just apply some Mod Podge, sprinkle on some of the faux snow from Dollar Tree and let it dry. It sticks right to it. So here are how my trees turned out and you could just leave them like this but I did think it would be nice to add a little bit of snow to the edges so that's what I'm doing here I applied some more Mod Podge and then I sprinkled on some faux snow I found that the best way to attach the trees to the base was to actually glue them to some of these wood tumbling tower blocks from Dollar Tree I use these in so many crafts so I do like to keep these on hand the only thing I wish I did differently was I really wish I had painted these white that way they could blend in a little bit better. Of course, I could always do it after the fact and you're not going to see it when you're looking at it from the front, but it is something to keep in mind. Here is how it turned out. And if you need this to be longer, all you have to do is add another row or two and you could really add on to the size of it. For DIY number 10, we're going to be using these large snowflakes from Dollar Tree and they do have these in a few different styles. So to get started, I'm just going to go ahead and grab my matte white spray paint and coat the snowflakes on both sides. I'm also going to need these wood pieces from the Crafter Square at Dollar Tree. These are similar to the ones we just used in the last DIY, and these are going to be the base for our snowflake. You can definitely paint the base if you like. I think gold would be beautiful, but for me, I'm just going to leave mine natural for this DIY. But I did want to add some faux snow to my snowflakes, so I'm just going to be using some Mod Podge with a foam brush. I'm just going to brush it over, and then while the Mod Podge is still wet, I'm going to sprinkle in some of the faux snow from Dollar Tree. Now to attach the snowflake to the base, I found that the best solution was to just use some of these tumbling tower blocks. I'm going to hot glue these onto the back of the snowflake. And if you want these to blend in better with the snowflake, you can definitely spray paint these white before you go ahead and glue them onto the snowflake. These are going to act as just a bit extra support because the snowflake itself is kind of thin and it does have the tendency to be a little wobbly if you just try to glue the snowflake by itself. So the blocks just give it a little bit more surface area to hold on to. I did hold this in place until that hot glue started to harden just to make sure it wouldn't fall down. And then once it was pretty secure, I did add a little bit more hot glue to the back just to give it some extra support. And here's how these turned out. I think that they are so beautiful. They're extra large and they're definitely a showstopper. For DIY number 11, we're going to get started with two of these clear bowls from Dollar Tree and you can find these in the party supply area. The first thing I want to do is just paint these and for something larger like this, spray paint is perfect. It's nice and quick and I'm going to be using this metallic silver spray paint. I also picked up these two items from Dollar Tree, these little cups that come in a set of three, as well as these shower curtain rings. And the rings actually can come in pretty handy for quite a few different DIYs, and we're going to be using them again later on in this video. I will be spray painting both of those items gold. I love mixing silver and gold. I think that they are both just so pretty together. The names of the spray paints that I'm using, as well as the link for them, can be found in the video description box. So here is how these turned out when they were dry. I did only just focus on the outside of this one because we actually are going to be gluing the two bowls together just like this so you're not going to see the inside. This next step is super easy. We're just going to be gluing all of these pieces together. And I did just use hot glue for this step, but I think it would be good to also add a little bit of E6000 or a different permanent glue just to give you an extra sturdy hold. 
So after I had the two bowls glued together, I just glued the cup on top and then our little ring. So if you couldn't tell before, this is going to be a giant oversized ornament. And the last step is just to add a bow on top of that ring and your ornament is complete. These are so easy to put together, but they look really fun around a Christmas tree or just on display. You can do these in a bunch of different colors. Red and green would be great. And these are also great to put together if you are going to be hosting a holiday party this year. For DIY number 12, we're going to need two of the Dollar Tree vases. I love these. You will see these pop up in a lot of my DIYs just because they are so versatile. I'm also going to be using two of the candle holders from Dollar Tree. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and just spray paint these black. Now you can use any color you like. Gold again would be beautiful for Christmas time. Silver is so traditional or even just red and green. I wanted to do something a little bit different here. So I went with black. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my E6000 because I want these to be a permanent hold. I'm gonna add that to the top of my candle holders and then place my vase on top. When you're using a glue like E6000, once you have your item in place, you do wanna apply a little bit of pressure and then you wanna let it dry overnight so it has time to fully cure. I do like to sometimes add hot glue as well, just to give it that short-term hold while the E6000 is drying. That is totally optional. You can just go ahead and use E6000 or again, any permanent glue that you prefer, and that will be totally fine. But sometimes I do like that quick hold while I'm letting the E6000 fully dry overnight. Next, I'm going to be using some of this berry garland from Dollar Tree. Now they do also have this in red. So if you wanna go for more of a traditional Christmas look, again, maybe paint the base candle holder red or silver or gold and then go with the red berry. I think that would be so pretty, but I want to go with something a little bit different here. So I am using the white berries and all I'm doing is just hot gluing the beginning of my strand in place at the bottom of my glass. Then I'm going to go ahead and just start to wrap it around. And then finally hot glue that last piece in place to make sure that it is nice and secure. Now these are ready for you to add your favorite flameless candle to, or even some flowers. And here's a closer look at how mine turned out. DIY number 13 is one of my favorite decorating hacks. Just grab any of the ceramic items that you like from Dollar Tree. I picked out the unfinished Santa and snowman. It could even be one of the items that is already painted and maybe you just don't love the colors. All you have to do is grab one of your favorite spray paints. I'm going to be going with this metallic silver here and just spray paint it. That is it. It's so simple, but really it does elevate these and it's very quick. DIY number 14 is another hack that I love and it is making over these Dollar Tree doll houses. Now they always have these in stock. These are around all the time. They actually have a few different designs. This one here is my favorite and these are perfect to make over for the holidays. I made one over for Halloween and this is my Christmas version. I'm just going to get started with spray painting the whole thing white. We want a nice neutral base to start with. So here it is and now is the really fun part. You get to decorate this house however you like and I find this so enjoyable. For the roof, I decided to use the chalk paint from Dollar Tree. It has a really good coverage to it. And now I'm just going to go in with a bunch of small details. By spray painting it white, you do lose a lot of those details on the house. So I just took a foam brush with a tiny, tiny bit of silver metallic paint and just ever so slightly brushed it over the house. That way, some of those raised elements would really be brought to the front and you could see all of the beautiful details a lot easier. Now I'm gonna go ahead with my acrylic paint and just add some Christmas details. So I added a green wreath to the front door with some red berries. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just add some garland. My final step was just to take some gold puppy paint and add some little details to really make it pop. Next, I just wanted to share with you a really easy way to style this house. Put it onto any kind of cake stand you might already have. Add some faux snow from Dollar Tree. Then you're going to want to grab some of the miniature Christmas items from Dollar Tree. So this is part of their Christmas village. I picked out these. I thought that these would be perfect for our house. I love those little columns. And then also the snowman from the other set was just too perfect not to add to the house. The final touch, grab some of the flameless tea light candles from Dollar Tree and add them into the back of your house. You can add one or like I did here, I thought two would be perfect, one in each window. And I have to tell you at nighttime, this is so beautiful. It has the nicest, warmest glow. 
DIY number 15 is a really fun take on milk and cookies for Santa. So we're going to need this glass candle as well as this glass here from Dollar Tree. All you want to do to make a candle is take one of these large glass candles from Dollar Tree, put it into a pot of water, and you want to let this simmer. Put this on low. You don't want this to boil. We don't want any bubbles in the wax, and we want to be safe. So just put this on very low heat, and that warm water will gradually start to melt the wax in your candle. Your wax is fully melted. You can go ahead and remove it from the water with an oven mitt. That glass will be hot. You will be reusing the wick, so you do want to go ahead and get that out of the wax. To help you, you can definitely use a popsicle stick. Now just dry this off with a paper towel, add some hot glue to the bottom of it, and add it to the bottom of your new candle container. Now you can carefully pour your melted wax into the glass. And then to keep the wick in the center while that melted wax is cooling, I just use two popsicle sticks. Now you can just let this dry and here is how it's going to turn out. The last thing we have to do is just to trim our wick and this is definitely looking like a glass of milk now. I decided to add a small bow to the bottom of my glass and then I'm going to display them with these faux cookies. I love that you can leave out Santa's milk and cookies all December long now. Moving on to DIY number 16, we are going to be creating a waterless snow globe. So all you need for this is one of these plastic snow globes from Dollar Tree and one of these cups. These are the same ones that I used in our earlier DIY. So to get started, I'm going to go ahead and just spray paint our cup gold. Now is the really fun part. You get to decide what you want to display in your snow globe. There are so many small miniatures you can choose from at Dollar Tree that would be perfect for this. I actually wanted to go with a nutcracker and I couldn't find one small enough so I actually decided to print one out on cardstock paper and I thought this would be a great example to show how you can actually just use a paper display piece in the center of your snow globe that way if you want to cut out a photo of someone you could also add that so like I said I did print this out on cardstock so the paper is a little bit sturdier next I'm going to go ahead and just cut it out really carefully I decided to add a little bit of faux snow inside and some of these miniature trees from Dollar Tree so now you can go ahead and just open up your snow globe there is a stopper on the bottom that is there in case you want to use one of these snow globes to actually create a watertight snow globe but we are just going to be using that stopper as our base today and that is where we are going to glue all of our items onto. The trick to making this paper stay up inside of our snow globe is going to be to add a small triangle piece of paper to the back. So this is just going to be a brace for the back of it. That way it can go ahead and just stay upright even after we add our snow inside. I found that adding this piece really helped. So if you want to go ahead and add a photo, just be sure to print it out on cardstock so it's a little bit sturdier and then just add a small piece in the back just like this to help support it. Now you can add any extra accessories that you like and then when you're all done, go ahead, add some faux snow into your globe and then insert that topper and push it all the way back in place. Now we can go ahead and glue it to our little gold base here and I'm just going to be adding some hot glue to the stopper. I did actually leave that screw cap bottom off of our globe. We're not going to need that part. And then to cover up that little plastic area of our globe where it meets the new base that we created, I'm just going to be using some ribbon to tie around and then I'm going to make a bow in the front. That is it. It is such an easy idea, but the possibilities are endless. You can display so many different items this way. For our next DIY, we are going to be using those same shower rings that I told you about before. Remember I said that those come in really handy for DIYs. So I'm going to show you a really simple DIY for these. All you need are some of the faux florals from Dollar Tree and these shower rings. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and just remove my flowers from the stem. We're not going to need it. You can go ahead and just pull it right off. I want these flowers to be able to lay as flat as possible, so I'm going to go ahead and just trim off that small plastic piece. Now grab one of your shower rings and you're going to see that there is a small little area that it just slides and clicks right into place. So go ahead, snap it in place, then add some hot glue to the top and add a flower on. We have just made some really simple but beautiful napkin ring holders. Now if you want to, you can definitely just spray paint these rings first if you want to add some color to them. Gold would be perfect with these flowers, but I think the clear also works, so I went ahead and just left mine just like this. Now you can just add a napkin to the center and these are ready for any dinner party.
DIY number 18 is one of my favorite Christmas DIYs. I just think it's so pretty. So we're gonna get started with four of these black frames from Dollar Tree. Now I am gonna be spray painting mine gold, but I did wanna let you guys know that if you like the look of the gold, they actually do sell these frames at Dollar Tree in gold already. So that will definitely save you a step, but they did not have gold at my Dollar Tree. So I just went ahead and picked up these. So first I wanna go ahead and just add all four of these together. We're going to be creating a large window pane. I'm going to remove everything from the frame first, but I will be saving that glass, so just set that aside for now. Now, you do have the option of removing these little tabs in the back so you don't see them in the final DIY. It is up to you if you want to. Just carefully pull them out with some pliers. You do want to be careful, though, because this frame is a little bit on the weaker side and you don't want to crack it, so just wiggle them back and forth and just pull them out. Now I'm just going to glue all of these together with some hot glue. You can also use a more permanent glue if you like, and you can also add some popsicle sticks to the back just to make it a little bit sturdier. And then, like I said before, I did spray paint mine gold. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab some of these snowflakes from Dollar Tree. They have a few different styles to choose from, and I'm going to be spray painting these with my matte white spray paint. The next step is optional, but I think it adds a really fun touch to the DIY. I'm going to take my glass here and I'm just going to ever so slightly dust the edges with some white spray paint kind of from far away just to give it the appearance of having a little bit of snow on it. I did focus more of that snow look on the bottom pieces of glass and then for the top glass I just left it more bare. And now to attach these back into the frame I'm going to be using a combination of E6000 and hot glue that way I get that nice sturdy long term hold from the E6000 and the short term hold from the hot glue. Now just go ahead grab your snowflakes and start to glue those onto the back of the window. You want to be sure to let all of that glue fully dry overnight before you kind of display it upright like this. But this is the final result and how pretty is this one? I just think it is so fun and just gives me that winter wonderland feel. You can never go wrong with DIY number 19. If you guys have been to my channel before, you will know that I do this quite often, but I love to include free printables on this channel for pretty much every holiday because it is such an easy and inexpensive way to decorate. All you have to do is just grab some frames from Dollar Tree and then I'm going to leave these free printables linked down below. So these are on my blog. It's lifeofstyleblog.com, but again, I will be sure to leave the exact link for these free printables down below. I like to print mine out on cardstock, but you can also just print them out on paper. And the reason I like cardstock is because I usually like to frame these above the glass. That way it kind of gives it more of the appearance of being an art print instead of just a framed picture, but you can do it either way. And I also like to just not have that glare, but like I said, either way, it is your choice. And all you have to do is of course, just cut it out and then just put it into your frame. This is perfect if you're just looking for a nice quick two minute DIY. All you have to do is print, cut and frame and you are finished. And here is how these turned out. All you have to do now is just pair this next to a little tree or a reindeer and you are done. Next step for DIY number 20, it's kind of in the same spirit as the last DIY, but instead of a free printable, we are going to grab one of Dollar Tree's frames and one of their gift bags. So there are often a lot of gift bags that I just love at Dollar Tree. They're so pretty. Some of them have the most gorgeous art on them and a great way to actually just use it in your home decor is just to cut it out and frame it. It only takes a couple of minutes, but it's a great way to get some really inexpensive holiday art that you don't have to spend a lot of money on, but it still looks really great. DIY number 21 has to be one of the absolute best decorating hacks ever. All you need is a glass item like one of these vases from Dollar Tree and some window clings. This DIY could not get any easier. You guys have seen me do this a bunch of times on this channel, but it really is amazing. Just pick out some really beautiful window clings. Dollar Tree usually has these every holiday and just add them right onto your vase. Now you can go ahead and use this for flowers or maybe to display some faux branches for the holidays with some ornaments or my personal favorite, just pop in some flameless candles and you are ready to go. You have some super easy holiday decor that when the holiday is over, you can just go ahead and remove those window clings and you're either ready for the next holiday or you just have a plain 
glass vase to use in your home decor. Another option is to glue these glass candle holders onto the bottom if you're looking for a little bit of height or if you just want to change up the look a little bit. Either way, this is definitely one of the best holiday decorating hacks ever. Now moving on to our last DIY, DIY number 22. These smaller glass candle holders from Dollar Tree are really beautiful just like this, but I have a really simple way just to elevate them. And around the holiday season, Dollar Tree gets in these extra beautiful taper candles. They get them in a bunch of different colors and they even have some really fun elements like this one has the twist to it. So definitely stock up now because other times of the year, Dollar Tree just has the plain ones. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just spray paint these gold. Just giving them that nice gold finish is automatically just going to give them that extra special touch. It's so simple. And I'm going to go ahead and just add in my green candles. I love this combination of gold with this beautiful dark green. It just screams Christmas to me. And if you're having issues with your candle not staying in place, they do sell some stuff on Amazon that you can actually just use as tack to keep it in place. Another hack that I've done for years is just taking a little bit of paper towel and just adding it to the bottom. Now, of course, if you are going to be burning it all the way down to the bottom, you don't want to have paper towel in there. But if you're just going to be lighting the top portion or if you're just going to be putting them out as display, it can help it from wiggling around too much. And Dollar Tree does also sell this gold candle snuffer. So in addition to putting out your candles very safely, it's also a beautiful accessory just to leave out right next to your candles. And that is the end of my 22 Christmas Dollar Tree DIY video. I really hope that you guys were able to grab some really fun ideas or maybe were just inspired by something you saw. And don't forget if you did jot down those numbers, save this video so you can always reference it back. That way it's easy to kind of just find whichever craft you are looking for. I will have some brand new Christmas Dollar Tree DIYs coming out very soon. So if you are not yet subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching.